Hi, welcome to Paranormal Captivity. Tonight I want to do something a little more fun, laid back. I wanted to kind of play a game. A would you rather game. So I got online and found a bunch of creepy themed kind of would you rather questions and I thought I'll just go through and answer them. And then that way if you guys want to play along, I'll create some kind of tag and we'll make this a tag video and you guys can go out and do this too or you can leave your responses to these questions in the comments. So. Let's do it. Would you rather feel something tugging at your feet while you're chilling at the lake or wake up in your house when it's empty to hearing footsteps in the attic? Footsteps in the attic. Nothing better be touching my feet ever. Period. That's that's disgusting. Um, no pedicures for this lady. None of that. Uh, so if something is touching my feet at all in the lake, I'm already not going to like it, let alone pulling on them. No. Mm -mm, no, none of that. Would you rather hold Annabelle or hold Chucky? I would want to hold Annabelle, but only the real Annabelle. The actual Raggedy Ann Annabelle doll. If it comes to the ones from the movies, I would definitely want to hold Chucky just because he's always had a special place in my heart, but real Annabelle? Yes. Would you rather be trapped in an abandoned amusement park or trapped in an abandoned psychiatric hospital? amusement park. That's like not even something that I need to choose from. That's something that would be a dream come true for me. Would you rather be a high school student in the movie Carrie or a high school student in the movie Scream? Definitely Scream for a multitude of reasons. The main one being every single person at Carrie's high school was a butthole. They were just so mean to everybody. She had no friends. Like who? No, that's not cool. But in Scream, there were at least people who were analytical about the situation and kind of understood the roles the different characters play in horror movies. So even if you fell into one of those stereotypes, you might have enough information to get out of the situation you're in. And there were survivors. So scream it is. Would you rather encounter a bloodthirsty vampire or a hungry zombie? Uh, definitely zombie because usually they're slow unless they're like the viral type. Uh, and if I get in an encounter with a vampire, those guys are seductive. And I'm not talking about the, the silly ones from Twilight, that's what it is. No, just vampires in general have like a sexy allure to them and uh, I might be entranced and I don't want that. I want to be able to annihilate my enemy. <laughs> Would you rather pull back the blankets in your bed to find a doll you've never seen before or hug a clown? I have no problem with clowns, but I would much rather pull down the bed sheets and find a doll I've never seen before because that would just open up a whole door of like, what? <laughs> Where did this come from? Why is it here? Is it haunted? Is it paranormal? Did some rando person get in my house and leave me a present? I don't know, but I like the, the possibilities with that one a little bit more than just hugging a clown. Would you rather be abducted by aliens or possessed by a demon? Aliens. Sign me up. Beam me up. I'm there. Would you rather run into Michael Myers in a dark alley or Leatherface in the middle of nowhere? Michael Myers. I mean, he's scary and seems to be uh, supernatural because no matter how much you run and he's walking, he's always where you're gonna be. I feel like if I kept eyeline with Michael Myers, I could gauge my distance and get far enough away from him to where I could actually be safe. If I'm in the middle of nowhere with Leatherface, I know his family is out there too. That's like a whole team of people who want to eat you. I'm not okay with that. Would you rather see Freddy Krueger in your dreams or Norman Bates at the motel? I would love to see Freddy Krueger in my dreams. I got a little bit of a crush on Freddy Krueger. I feel like maybe somehow I would be able to like become friends with Freddy Krueger and like be able to also manipulate the dream realm with him probably wouldn't actually happen, but it'd be way more fun. And uh, Norman Bates was based on a real person who was real crazy. And I, I don't, real scary is real scary. <laughs> Fictional characters are way more fun. Would you rather wake up on an IV in a creepy hospital or wake up chained to a radiator in an empty room? IV in a creepy hospital. I'm not playing that saw game, no. <laughs> Plus IVs. Pull it out, you're good to leave. If you're chained up, you're kind of screwed. Would you rather touch a lotus pod or let a big spider crawl on your arm for 30 seconds? 
I do not have trypophobia, and I personally like holy patterns, so I'd just be all about that lotus pod. I'd be all up in it. Plus, like, spiders are kind of gross. If it was in a, like, a monitored environment, I'd probably tolerate it, but if I get a pick between them, I'm going with the lotus pod. Would you rather walk barefoot across a path of worms or barefoot across a path of frogs? I'd feel bad hurting either one, but I feel like I've probably stepped on a lot more worms in my lifetime, and I'm going to anyway, but I feel like if I stepped on a frog, I'd break its little frog bones, so I'm gonna say worm. Plus, like, worms, like, you can break them in half and then they grow back, to, like, to where they live single, don't they? Or at least the part with the heart can live by itself? I don't know, but I might not kill all of the worms, but I would probably kill all of the frogs. And I think my body weight being laid flat against a snake's body wouldn't hurt it as much as if I laid on a rat. <laughs> would you rather lay in a bed of squirming snakes or lay in a bed of rustling rats? Snakes, for sure because I feel like the, the mice would be scratchy and possibly bitey, and I think the snakes would be a little more calm. Would you rather spend a night in the cabin in the woods or a night in the Overlook Hotel? Cabin in the woods, for sure, because there's a possibility, a slight minute chance, that I might somehow get into that control center freaking room where you get to see all of the creatures from all of the different kinds of like horror movies and different things that exist in this realm and like be able to see it from that perspective like that's amazing would you rather be locked in a room full of bees or be forced to watch yourself give blood this one seems like such a no-brainer to me because anytime i ever get blood drawn i watch it happen is that weird like is that not something that most people do i used to try and like look away and it seemed like it hurt more so whenever i get blood drawn now i just watch and it, it doesn't hurt as much. Would you rather give Freddy Krueger a high five or Pinhead a hug? Definitely high five Freddy Krueger. Uh, there's more palm space. You wouldn't necessarily get uh, scratched up. Pinhead, on the other hand, is all into that pain stuff. And uh, if I went in for a hug, I feel like the hug would become forceful and pushing against the pins and then, you know, I'm kind of like the, the juicy, half-created uncle in the movie, and yeah. Would you rather have dinner with the Sawyer family from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or have Pennywise at your birthday party? Pennywise. Definitely. Uh, yes, he's terrifying, but he's not a cannibalistic family that's going to, like, eat me or make me eat my friends. And, if it's retro Pennywise that's really Tim Curry under there, I'm real into that. Would you rather be the sole survivor of a zombie apocalypse in your area or be the first to get infected? Uh, I definitely want to be the sole survivor. Plus they have that little note in there of in your area. So if I'm the sole survivor in my area, I go to another area, there's other survivors. If I'm a zombie, I'm just a zombie and that's kind of lame. Would you rather stand in an enclosed glass ledge on the hundredth floor of a skyscraper or wiggle through a tunnel that's only large enough to fit your body. I have seen so many videos of people going on like the glass walkout things. Uh, sometimes they're like bridges over canyons and sometimes they're off of buildings like that. I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be really cool to see. But I like the challenge aspect of wiggling through a tunnel that's only about the size of me. Because I think I'd want to I'd want to prove to myself I could do it. And I could also play in my head like I'm inside some kind of creepy cave movie. <laughs> and like, I feel like that would be a skill it would be smart to kind of get into in case I ever did get trapped in some type of cave situation and had to wiggle myself out. But just walking on the glass ledge, like, it doesn't really take much skill. So it'd be, it'd be entertaining, but I want to try the tunnel. Would you rather eat a dead rat or a live spider? I would have to go with the rat. It's already dead. And, you know, you could probably skin it and get the little bits of its meat and cook it. This is coming from a vegan, I know, it's kind of weird, but you could season it to make it taste like food you've probably had at some point in your life. But if you have something crawling alive in your mouth, like, I would be afraid I would instinctively swallow it because I wouldn't want it in my mouth, and then I would feel it crawling in my body. No. Mm. Would you rather find a dead body in your backyard or find just the guts? First of all, who came up with this question? Internet, 
something's wrong with you guys. But I would have to say the body because I think there'd be a lot more questions if I just found a pile of guts in my yard and there's a lot more evidence for people to kind of figure out what happened to the body without it just being a bunch of DNA on my property. At least if there's a body, there's more evidence to prove that I didn't put it there. Would you rather find out that you're a vampire or a werewolf? Vampire. Again, because they're pretty sexy. Would you rather tightrope walk across the Grand Canyon with a harness or be buried in a coffin for 24 hours with a breathing hole? I would totally tightrope walk. I'm in a harness. Like, where is the threat there? I, I really don't have too much of a problem with heights, so it'd just be like walking until I lose my balance and then I fall and I know I'm safe. Like, win-win, I'm good. Would you rather look out the window to see a tornado touching down in your backyard or look out the window and see a tidal wave coming your way? I live in Indiana. I would much rather see a tornado because if there's a freaking tidal wave in Indiana, I'm done. I'm screwed. There's, there's no way out. It's the end. So yeah, that was doing some random would you rathers. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. I just wanted to do something fun and random tonight. So if you want to answer the would you rather questions, you can comment below and let me know your responses. Or if you want to make a video, let's just make a hashtag here and use this hashtag as the tag for the tag video that we will be going from here. So. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can always leave a thumbs down. That's cool too. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload. I'm Kat, and this is Paranormal Captivity. Have a strange day. Bye!